Hey guys, welcome back to Angles and Acid. And today's video is all about Newton's three laws of motion, particularly his first law of motion. And I'll also tell you the reason why I've put a soccer ball on the roof of my car. You know when you're in the car and you've got like a bottle and you kind of put it somewhere in the car and you're driving around some roads and they've got some corners and have you ever noticed that sometimes when you turn to the right uh, the bottle or whatever round object that can move tends to roll in the opposite direction to your car it's actually due to Newton's first law of motion which is the topic of this video and I wanted to demonstrate that it's not actually just rolling towards the opposite direction of your turn, it's actually trying to roll in a specific direction, mainly in the original forward line of direction. Um, so I, here was my experiment, I had a soccer ball on top of the car with a bowl, and sure enough, just drive it straight and take a turn and the ball should fall off and go in a straight line. However, I found that it didn't work as I had planned. Uh, when I did take that turn, the ball kind of sat in the bowl for a little bit longer than I thought and when it finally left the bowl and rolled off the roof of my car it kind of rolled off at a tangent somewhere in between the original line of motion and where I had turned my car towards. So that kind of puzzled me for a while and had to think about that and uh, redesign the experiment. So without further ado I will show you the explanation of all the physics then you get to see the new experimental design which where I solved that problem. So what I have here is I've actually got a golf ball which will roll left and right on my dashboard here depending on which way I turn the car. And if you're, any, if you're anything like me, then when you're little, you play this game on the bus which we call corners. So as the bus turns left, you go lean right and everybody leans right and you crush the person on the other side of the seat. And then the same thing happens when you turn the opposite direction. The car turns right, you go lean left and everyone crushes the person on the left. This game is actually based upon a principle that causes objects to roll in the opposite direction. This is actually to do with this idea called inertia. Now, inertia actually comes from Newton's first law of motion. Isaac Newton stated that an object that's at rest tends to want to stay at rest unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. And that's all fancy terminology, but basically, when you have forces, you can actually ba balance them such that they cancel each other out. For example, we all know that we feel the force of gravity pulling us towards the center of the Earth. However, we don't continue to fly indefinitely towards the center of the Earth. And this is because there's something pushing us back, and that's namely the ground. So we've got the force of gravity pulling us towards the ground, and the ground itself is actually pushing us back up. This is known as the normal force, meaning orthogonal to. So knowing that forces can be balanced, you can actually make them unbalanced by adding extra forces which are not counteracted by anything. So as I have a stone on the ground, it's at rest. Uh, it won't move unless I apply an unbalanced force to make it move like lifting it or pushing it over. Now, if you've ever broken down in your car, you know it's really difficult to get it in motion because it requires a lot of energy and it's quite reluctant to move. This is because of the inertia. It's at rest, it wants to remain at rest. However, there's another situation with inertia. His first law also states that if the object is already in motion, like I am right now, it wants to remain in motion. So if I hit the brakes, my body wants to continue moving in the original line of direction. You can actually see this when I have a toy car rolling down the ramp. The car is already in motion, and when it hits that brick wall at a very abrupt moment, the toy still wants to continue moving in the forward direction, so it falls up and over the car and over the table. So objects that are already in motion will continue to want to remain in motion unless they are acted upon by an unbalanced force to stop them. This is actually the principle that's causing the golf ball to roll left and right on my dashboard here. See, as I turn left, I'm actually sort of stopping the forward direction of motion. So as I turn left, you can imagine the toy would want to continue rolling in this direction. However, relative to your point of view inside the car, it kind of looks like the toy would be rolling towards the opposite direction of your turn. So as I turn left, the golf ball rolls to the right. As I turn to the right, the golf ball rolls in the other way. Good morning, welcome back to Angles and Acid. Here is the experiment. It's a new day, we've got a soccer ball, we have a car, we have some cardboard, we have some GoPro cameras. We are going to show what happens to this, this soccer ball here when I take it through a straight line, accelerating, and then I'm going to take a right-hand turn and park it where it is currently right now. 
The box up here is to prevent the ball from falling backwards when I accelerate the car. This wall here is also to prevent it from falling off to the other side. However, we will show you in a few seconds here that the other side is open faced so that it is able to roll freely to the left or roll forwards. Now we know from the early explanation that when things are traveling in motion, they want to continue traveling in the original line of motion. And we want to try and show this to you, but particularly when we make a right hand turn. So um, make your predictions. Does it go forward? Does it go towards the left? All right, here we go. Welcome back. Now that you've seen the final experimental design, which worked properly and the one that didn't work so well, I want you to come up with a reason and put it in the comments below as to why you think that the first experimental design didn't work as expected. Um, I will try and find the answer and I will get back to you in a couple of weeks time uh, with all the physics that I can muster to explain why it didn't work. But uh, in the meantime, I thought I'd give you a chance to have a bit of a think and I'll be very interested in hearing what you guys have to say. All right, thanks guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. I will be following this up with uh, Newton's second law of motion and later on with some angry birds, I'll show you uh, Newton's third law of motion. All right, see you later guys, bye. They often give you a sort of a characteristic glow of colors and if you look at them very carefully, you get certain stripes of colors. And he thought, nothing. Did it change? Nope, so we're getting zero current. <laughs>